You may fail to cut through a material when using X-Tool Metal Fab CNC cutter. Neither of the two were cut through normally. Why would this happen and how to solve it? First, incorrect parameter settings or material can lead to incomplete cutting. Please choose your material and settings based on the information above. Note that the maximum thickness mentioned is based on lab tests and is for reference only. Here are X-Tool recommended nozzle, gas for different materials, and thickness. Before processing, use a vernier caliper to measure the material thickness. Then, select the target material and thickness in X-Tool software. Take cutting 3mm stainless steel as an example. It is officially recommended to use a compressor for air supply and to choose the save gas nozzle. Those labeled no parameters are not recommended. Select the cutting area first and adjust the air pressure slightly higher than the recommended value to achieve a better cutting effect. If you are using an inappropriate nozzle type, please change it to the recommended nozzle type and make sure you have put on gloves before operating. The second reason for dross is low pressure or gas impurity. If using oxygen, nitrogen, or argon, ensure gas purity is greater than or equal to 99.99%. When using an air compressor, an air dryer must be installed between the air compressor and the equipment to make sure the gas is clean. I'll use an X-Tool compressor to show how to increase pressure. After adjusting, you can check the pressure on the software. If the incomplete cutting issue persists, slightly adjust your settings. For example, select the pattern in X-Tool software. Lower the cutting speed. Test cut a small pattern like a 30 by 30 millimeter square. This one is completely cut through. Apart from materials and settings, lens can be the reason for incomplete cutting. If the red spot is large and blurry, you may have the wrong lens. The following uses the save gas nozzle as an example. To observe the red spot, descend the nozzle by 30 to 40 millimeters along the Z axis. Descend the nozzle by 10 millimeters each time. If you've misinstalled the cleaning lens, replace it with the lens protector. Ensure that you wear gloves during the whole process. What's more, dirty lens can also lead to incomplete cutting. The third reason is a damaged or clogged nozzle. To solve this, take out the nozzle and clean it with an alcohol-dipped cotton swab. Replace the nozzle if it's severely deformed or soiled. Focus deviation comes as the fourth reason. To solve this, we need to adjust the focus position and defocus amount. Read the tips in the dialog box, click Next. Follow the tips to adjust the cutting tip. Turn off the two machines. Take out the welding head. 
open the fastener. Pull out the cutting tip slowly. Use the 2.5 mm hex key included in the package of X-Tool Metal Fab Laser Welder. Loosen the screw a bit. Slowly pull up the U-shaped component until its bottom reaches plus one. Tighten the screw. Pull the component back and forth to test if it's secured. Install the cutting tip back to the welding head. Close the fastener. Reinstall the welding head on the carriage and ensure that the cable is properly placed. Click after the laser focus calibration concludes. Check if the defocus amount is consistent with that in Xtool software. If the material still can't be cut through, turn the knob slightly and test which value works best for cutting results. In addition, red light offset can be a reason as well. To solve this, calibrate the red light in Xtool software. The following shows detailed calibration steps. Read the tips in the dialog box. Prepare the transparent tape. Click Next. Follow the tips in the dialog box. Peel off the transparent tape. Attach the transparent tape to the laser module. Close the lid. Click Single Light Emission. After the operation is done, open the lid and take out the sticker check if the spot falls in the center of the concentric circles. Click Not Centered. Follow the tips to test the red spot position. Open the fastener, turn the knob until it reaches negative 10, then close the fastener. Press the red stamp pad against the cutting tip to leave colors on the tip. Then, secure the laser alignment card right under the cutting tip. Click Confirm. The cutting tip is automatically lowered. If it fails to touch the card, manually open the fastener and slightly rotate the knob until the red mark is left on the card. Then, slowly lift the cutting tip and close the fastener. Click Next. Follow the tips to adjust the red spot position. To adjust the red spot left or right, gently loosen or tighten the welding head screws with the hex key. To adjust the red spot forward or backward, click the corresponding button. When the red spot is centered, click Complete the adjustment. If your material is not secured, it may not be cut through as well. To solve this, secure the material with the two fixtures. Finally, improper pattern design and nozzle usage can also lead to incomplete cutting. To solve this, follow the suggestions in the table. Today, we've walked through reasons and solutions for incomplete cutting. To achieve better cutting results, nine useful tips are here for you. If your problem still can't be solved, please send us the four pieces of information above. Screenshots of the studio file and the work log, a photo of the machine's SN code, a video of the occurred problem and the steps you've already taken. Send them to our after-sales email and we'll connect you right away.